Yo, welcome back. This is Stu42 with another Minecraft episode. Uh, today is going to be another bits and pieces episode, I'd say. Uh, I want to get on... I'm actually already in the quest for it. I do want to make some concrete uh, this episode. I've done the marble cobblestone pretty easy. We had that already. Um, ground it up into some marble dust. You only do that, I think, for the calcite, which we can get a, another way anyway. So I've done all that. Uh, the mold, I do have the, um, the block mold sitting there somewhere. Um, and we still have to make the light concrete. So the fluid solidifier with the block mold. And then wet concrete is in the mixer. So this is all LV stuff. But because we're in the MV age, I might make those machine, two machines MV. Um, the other thing in here that we're wanting to do is get slowly towards seed oil or better seed oil um, than those cherries. And you can see... That leaf block there, yeah, that leaf block there is done. So we're starting to get some cross breeding from these bees. There's another one there and another one over there. So I'm going to need to make a grafter. Oh, there's one under there as well. There we go. So I'll make a grafter as well. I'm not sure which one we're going to make. I mean, thormium, we could probably make the thormium one. 15, 15, 15, and we do have thormium. You know what? I might make the thormium one because that just seems. Well, me and me, we're not going to do that anytime soon. Um, proven we're not up to yet. Yeah, thormium is probably the best bet at the moment. Now, the other thing that has happened is that giant pink tower monstrosity um, that uh, Kat was working on. Uh, she decided that it was not great and she's come up with this instead. And I have to say, this thing looks amazing. This is so much better than I would have made myself for a mage tower. So um, we're going to hopefully start filling up the floors in there at some point. I do want to make the arcane levitator to get up and down. Uh, I think I have the pattern for it. Yes, I do. 5, 10, 20. Yes, so we have got a one that'll do it. Terra crystal we have. Air crystal. Nitor thormium. Alimentum. Great wood planks. Yeah, so we could actually make a bunch of those as well um, for lifts to get up and down. Um, yeah, that thing's just amazing. I totally, uh, totally need to keep Cat on as my interior decorator. Oh, just my decorator in general, actually. Um, now, inside here, as I said, over the back there, we'll make the... Um, We'll make the stuff for the concrete. So we'll get that out of the way first. I'll make uh, whatever it is, the mixer. Uh, the mixer and the fluid solidifier and I'll put it down the back there to run off the diesel um, yeah let's get that underway and we'll see where we go from there so I'll be back once I've made those couple of bits so this is where I've managed to put my advanced mixer and fluid solidifier they are well set up this way around I have actually uh, what do we want 10 more of those there we go so I have actually made one batch of concrete already this here is gonna make well, another lot like this. Um, I did hand in the quest. Uh, where are we? Yeah, so I chose the smooth dark concrete just because it seemed like the hardest one to make. Um, yeah, so there's another bunch of light concrete. Awesome. And this will make another two and a half stacks of it. Now, I did throw this particular concrete in the oven because... It makes smooth concrete once you've put it in an oven. So I'm hoping that I can replace all my floors around with this. Wow, you do actually run quite a bit faster on it. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's gonna be awesome to fill my, <laughs> to fill my stuff with this. All right, so. Cool, I will do that uh, off camera most likely. Um, the other thing that I have done is I did make the Thormium Grafter, but the problem that I had with it is I managed to get maybe six saplings out of it and then it ran out of charge. Um, I'm not entirely sure how to recharge them. It doesn't seem to work in an anvil or anywhere else. I know you can set a... You can, well, you can enchant it with repair or repair two, uh, but it takes a long time to get that because you really need the repair two book in order to do it properly. Um, otherwise, you're just wasting a bunch of experience points. Hooray! I think we finally stabilized the cultivated bees as well, which is great. So the other thing that I thought I had done, which was on the way to seed oil, is I've made 
well I got these saplings out of um, out of what I was doing I was also looking at the arcane levitator now what we wanted to do with this was seed oil is made best from coconuts so if we hit a U on the coconut 300 millibuckets from a single coconut so that's probably one of the best things to make um, seed oil out of if we're doing it with trees now there is a way of doing it with peanuts i think peanuts is probably the best well, one of the best ground crops to do and i have a bunch of peanuts over there uh, i may end up planting a bunch of those um, and using golems to harvest them which as someone suggested i'm sorry i cannot remember who it was that commented on my videos um, but someone suggested that um, but in the meantime, the coconut is made from the coconut tree. The coconut tree is made from Brazils and balsa. The Brazil nut is made from jungle and common beach. Now we do have a couple of common beach in here now. Now I'm wondering, I haven't actually tried this yet. Let's see if we can scan. We can. Well, it looks like we can awesome so we can use the field kit which means we can then take that out use the tree eliza even though there's no honey in there once we've scanned it with um, the field kit we can look at it in here and go look uh, materials faster average one by one awesome so there's all that stuff there so we're gonna need ourselves probably the common beach and was it jungle so we've got jungle as well uh where's jungle up there so if we throw the jungle saplings in now i don't even think we need the thing in that so this is jungle sapling but if we throw them in there it straight away turns them into forestry saplings as opposed to the regular saplings so even though they're unknown um it will turn them into forestry so i might go and plant a bunch of those upstairs also while we are waiting on that to happen can I put any more of those in there? No, not quite. The other thing, as I said, this episode is going to be a real bits and pieces episode. Uh, one of the other things was over here, iron three chloride. So three hydrogen, three chlorine. So one of the things we want to work on is chlorine. This is going to help us make uh, our circuit boards a lot easier. Uh, so chlorine is probably best made uh, by just electrolyzing some rock salt or some regular salt. Either or will be good. Uh, but we've got the electrolyzer already over here. But I figured what we would do is take advantage of a new piping system that came out in oh, New Horizons 2025, I want to say. Uh, it might be 2026. Um, we're currently playing 2026. Uh, I know 2027 is out at the time that I'm recording this. Um, but I haven't got around to upgrading the server yet. Anyway, we can put these fluid pipes in here and make this quadruple bronze fluid pipe. And one of the reasons I want to make this is because on here, we're having oxygen come out, but we also want to have stuff like chlorine come out. And what this means is when the fluid gets banked up in the pipes, um, you can have four different fluids going through those pipes so i'm just going to grab a diamond now there are a couple of caveats with doing it this way um, one of the caveats is let's just throw those in there for now uh, and what was i looking for i was looking for a yep a wrench would be good oh, someone's been doing something in there probably cat um, so one of the caveats is that it'll only pipe stuff through to a destination that already has the same thing in it or that is empty. And that is a really important distinction because what that means is until we have our, until we have our first bit of, until we have our first bit of chlorine in a pipe, it's not actually gonna, I mean, we could have oxygen come out and end up being dumped into this diamond tank, which is not really what we want. So for now, let's do that. Connect the pipe and let's get some chlorine dumping in there so that we've actually got it set to chlorine. Now we wanted 
one of the chlorides. Which one did we want? Mica, titanite, marble, sodalite will be good at some point. Rock salt, there we go. A rock salt is, yep, potassium chloride. I will work on getting the concrete down <laughs> in this area. Now, we should be able to put two of those in there. That'll go out. Ah, and look at that. We've got some chlorine sitting in there now. And this should go up to one bucket of chlorine. Awesome. Now, as long as we leave one bucket in here, we should be able to fill this up and oxygen will fill up the tank. You can even have oxygen banking up into this piping system and it will not impact the ability for us to still process some chlorine. So I want quite a bit of chlorine, so I'm just gonna process all of this into chlorine and then we'll be able to use the dolly to grab that and hey, there we go. Now, you might notice this top little pipe here does get a bit of chlorine in it as well. Um, obviously, I'm gonna to need to change that out for this uh, four-way pipe as well in order for that to, to keep working properly. But cool, bunch of chlorine there. Um, and that's a pretty cool feature of these four-way pipes. They do actually come in not non-tuple, non-tuple, whatever the, non apple <laughs> the non-apple fluid pipes as well. So you can get nine going through them as well. Um, I don't really think we're gonna need nine, but four certainly seems pretty handy at this particular point here. Okay, so I will run away again. I'm gonna try and rip up this floor. We might do something. Well, seeing as we've got some smooth dark and some smooth light, I might actually rip this up over here and make a, I don't know, make some sort of pattern or something. See how we go. I might have to consult Cat the stylist um, just to make sure that everything is in keeping with the um, the plans she has in here. Uh, and what else are we gonna do? I will plant those trees as well upstairs and then hopefully we'll start getting some more crosses on our way to coconut or at least yeah brazil brazil should be good actually because i have a funny feeling oops helps if i spell it correctly so the brazil nut comes from that tree but if we hit you on the brazil nut ah oh, it's only 20 millibuckets of seed oil so it's not even that great for seed oil um, but it'll at least get us on the way to coconut uh and what else did i want to do that's right we were walking working our way through to this hydrochloric acid yeah i'll have to figure out between yeah what we're going to do with the chlorine over there i may just need to pipe it off somewhere or we may just end up using the dolly i don't think we're going to need a ton of it at this point um or at least not right now um certainly for making the circle boards it's going to be handy but i don't think i'm going to need a huge huge tank of it um yeah all right i will be back in just a moment we'll have hopefully some better floor and some more chlorine and maybe even some better trees i'll see you here in just a bit all right, we have a bit of a floor set up now, a uh, slight sort of pattern happening to sort of lead us around. We're running quite a bit faster. Uh, one thing that I was just finishing off making was, yep, the advanced chemical reactor. Um, the reason being back on the, back on the down here, the iron three chloride, I still wanted to get this done. So we've got hydrogen, chlorine, uh, iron dust, hydrochloric acid cell, um, the acid we're gonna need this, um, this chemical reactor for. Now I do have up above, I did end up planting a couple of those trees. Um, they will sit there crossing for a while. I, like I've said in previous episodes, I don't wanna spend too much time actually in episodes doing any tree breeding stuff just because it takes such a long time. Um, to do and lots of time in between episodes. All right, so we will put our Let's just put it there The advanced chemical reactor all right now one of the things someone and again apologies because I can't remember who it was that said on one of my videos um, instead of using the fluid canning machines we're gonna use One of these fluid tanks. Let's use the ultra low voltage one now, the reason we are using this is because it just doesn't take power, apparently, and will can and uncan uh, fluids pretty nicely. So let's just quickly... 
quickly dash down here, grab our wire cutters. Connect that up. Run, run, run. Now I'm trying desperately to find some more calcite as well to make some more concrete for up here. Um, yeah, this is pretty handy stuff. Just calcite is not, not super great to get. Okay, so if we put our ultra low storage on top, we will get the output set to the bottom. There's no, yeah, there's no input or output side. So let's give this a go. Now we need three cells of chlorine. We've got a few here. One, two, three. Now will that, yep, sure will. Fantastic, so that's completed that. Now six iron dust and three hydrochloric cells. This is now made in the yep, chemical reactor. I need a programmed circuit with circuit one. Now the reason I've got that um, ultra low voltage tank on top is because we need some of it to be in gas form. So let's just throw, let's see what happens. Well, that takes the liquid out, but doesn't really push it down. But it does can and uncan really, really well. So that's really awesome. So what we might do is let's take this off the top, run over. It's still going to be less power and a bit easier to do it this way, but I'm probably going to need a pump. And look at that, I do have a spare pump, fantastic. Uh, we're also gonna need, what was it? Iron, six iron dust. Let's just macerate some of that up. Oh, I'm gonna need a screwdriver. That one there, done with that. Might as well grab this while we're here. Six iron dust, awesome. Oh, and we're gonna need, uh, did I have one over here? Did I have one in here? No, that's circuit 11. Ah, there we go, configuration one, fantastic. Cool, so we're gonna have configuration one there. We're gonna have, yeah, okay, let's put that on there, set it to import, put that on top, now in here, hydrochloric acid, we needed, how you can distill it? Ah, oh, just from diluted, that's all right. So we're gonna have chlorine cells with one and hydrogen gas. Um, oh, if we use configuration 11, we get the cells straight back out if we put chlorine and hydrogen. So you know what? I'm gonna grab the 11 from over here because I like the idea of getting stuff back out into cells since that's what we need for our quest. Now, we had there we go, hydrochloric acid cell. We want the chlorine in cells, although I think this works either way, to be honest. Yeah, hydrogen cells, chlorine there, and chlorine, in, yeah, it doesn't really matter. So let's throw the hydrogen in there. Look at that, we're getting some hydrogen in. Let's throw the chlorine in there. Awesome, hydrochloric acid. That should complete, fantastic. Now, oh, universal fluid cell, how are we gonna do that? So, combine with some iron dust to make iron three chloride. Now, how do we actually do that? That is not actually if we go for chloride chloroform which one is it which one is it which one is it polyvinyl vinyl chloride chloroform iron three chloride so if we look for iron three there we go 
Now, is this going to give us a different pattern? No, unfortunately it's not. This is one of the problems with NEI I've found is when it comes to universal fluid cells, it is really horrible at trying to tell you how you get this. Um, it looks like the chemical reactor is the way to go. Iron powder plus hydrochloric acid and configuration one. So we can probably, if we throw the configuration one back in there, we need the hydrochloric acid to be in the bottom like that. We can put the iron in there. Now this should make that, but now what we want to do is try and get that out. Well, there's our iron three chloride. Now we're going to need to get those universal cells from somewhere. So setting this up as a proper production line is probably going to be the way to go in the future. I think I have some, I've got five universal cells. How many do I need? I need six. Of course I do. And the recipe for one of them was an assembler with 14 item casings and a glass pane. Uh, let's go for, wow, we have no glass panes. All right, two of those, um, some of those. This concrete certainly is amazing for getting this around. So let's just go for Fortin item casings. Run over to here, I think it's three. Let's make some more just in case. Now the assembler. Cool, so that will make, <laughs> there we go, six universal fluid cells, oops. Six of them. Hooray. Now we've got six of this here. Can we just right click? Yeah, that's not going to happen in a hurry. So what we're going to do, what we're going to do is we will take that off there. We will now I haven't got my crowbar, but what I can do is I can sit there and make this uh, plain old export. Now export should mean that if I throw this back on top, <laughs> there we go. We end up with the liquid in there. We can then throw our universal fluid cells in and fill up with the IO3 chloride. Da -da -ding. And we're done. Cool. Empty cells, program circuits, or a loop bag. I always go for empty cells just because I always seem to be short on them. Let's claim that. Wow. So we are now onto plastic boards, sodium persulfate, and some other bits and pieces. We will look at that later. Uh, acetic acid. Yeah, wow. Okay, so I might, I'm getting towards the end of this episode, I think. Um, I might do some of the stuff in between. We need to sort out a better way of doing uh, this iron three chloride. Although to be fair, I don't think the iron three chloride is really used a whole bunch. It's here like a hundred liters to make one good circuit board. So you can get 10 circuit boards out of a single one, which means this six cells here is going to give us 60 circuit boards. Yeah. I don't know if it's worth setting up a permanent thing. What I might do is I've got quite a bit of chlorine here. I might just make exactly the same way as I've just done there. Um, what we'll do though, is we will grab, since we don't need these cells anymore, because the cells are only, I'm guessing it's because Dream Master, when he does these quests, he wants us to make these things, which is yeah, absolutely what we should be doing. Um, it is just really, really hard to do a quest for liquids. <laughs> so you kind of have to do a bit of messing about with getting stuff in and out of cells when, you know, your final, the final thing you're going to do is not actually going to be in cells at all. So can we, yeah, so we can just throw that straight in there but not the last one. Shift click, you have to shift right click the last cell. So that 
that's just interesting in itself, to be honest. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a few more of this iron three chloride. Make sure we've got a supply of it there, and that should keep us going for a little while. Now, uh, in between this episode and the next one, well, in the background, I'm gonna keep going with a few of these things that are a little bit more boring. Um, I might get a bunch of these quests sort of knocked off. Where is? Yeah, so these two are the ones that are required for going forward. So I might do those. I don't really want to spend too many more episodes on tier three is what I'm sort of getting at. Um, we are, you know, we've got the major quest for tier four opened already. I do want to get to HV. There's a whole bunch of things I do in this series really want to make it to space and do all that sort of stuff. Um, again, apologies. These episodes are taking a while for me to record and along with um, everything that's going on in my in my non-gaming life at the moment, this is um, this is meaning videos are coming up not as often as I'd like, um, but thanks for your patience. Um, I will try and get some more out. Um, and what else are we doing? Yeah, bees and trees. I might just keep going with the bees and trees and keep trying to get some seed oil because as we've seen here, we do need to sort our fuel out. Um, yeah, gonna need a bunch of seed oil and then biodiesel we can get to. The other thing that I might do between now and next time is on our map, now down here where we had our well, that's actually dry. There's no more oil there at all. Um, this turns out to be just basalt, so that's not actually oil. But this one here is oil, so I might make some more tracks. We'll run some tracks. Just We'll just extend it a little bit further and run some piping down from there and try and get some more oil in as well. Um, won't do that on camera just because... You know, I did, a, I did an episode on trains, or on this particular train anyway, so there's not much point. Um, in you guys watching that anyway i think that is all for me this time um yeah as always thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time